Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the squares. So the very first thing what we need to do is we must leave only x variables on the left hand side. That means this non-x, this constant, 5 should go on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So this thing is gone. So we got 3x squared minus 8x turns out to be equal to negative 5. So the next thing what we need to do is we must make sure that our leading coefficient must be 1. Now it is 3. So the only way we can do it, make it 1 by dividing by 3. If you want to divide this one by 3, you must divide across the board. So far so good. So what we got over here is 3 over 3 becomes simply 1x squared minus 8 over 3x equals to negative 5 over 3. So the next step is I want you to just look at the coefficient of x. So just look at 8 over 3. Don't worry about this negative sign. Whatever this sign, ignore it. So I want you to just put down 8 over 3 right up here. I want you to divide this one by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. So far so good. So let's go ahead and multiply. 8 times 8 is 8 times 1 is 8 divided by at the bottom 3 times 2 is 6 and if you reduce it that becomes 4 over 3 so far so good and now whatever you got this one I want you to square this one so whatever we got this quantity 4 over 3 squared we're gonna add on the both side of these equations so that's, let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm going to put down x squared minus 8 over 3x. And then I want you to put down plus equal to negative 5 over 3 plus. Now let's go ahead and add this quantity 4 over 3 squared on both sides so far so good now i want you to just focus on the left hand side on this box this represents a complete square of x minus 4 over 3 square now you might be wondering how did i get that one well this x showed up right up here this 4 over 3 just came over here and this negative sign whatever you see this is in the middle whatever this sign equals to negative 5 over 3 and then this is could be written as 16 over 9. So far so good. Now the next thing what we're going to do is I want you to just go ahead and write down this part somewhere here. So I put these fractions right up here as you can see. Now you see the denominators are 3 and 9. We want to make the same denominator so I can divide this one, the first fraction, by 3. I'm going to multiply and divide by 3. So that's going to give us negative 15 over 9. So far so good. So negative 5 over 3 is same as negative 15 over 9 plus 16 over 9. And since we have the same denominator 9, so we got negative 15 plus 16 this turns out to be a 1 over 9 so that means this right hand side fraction is same as 
1 over 9 and on the left hand side we have x minus 4 over 3 square. Now we want to solve for x so we're going to want to remove this square. How you can undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So far so good. So the next step what we're going to do is so you can see this square and square root they they undo each other so we got x minus 4 over 3 equals to positive or negative square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3. Now I want you to move this negative 4 over 3 on the right hand side so that's going to be x turns out to be when you move this negative 4 over 3 this become positive 4 over 3 plus or minus 1 over 3. Now we're going to split this, these two fractions along with these signs so one of that is going to become 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 the other one is going to be uh, 4 over 3 minus 1 over 3 so that is going to give us 3 is our common denominator 4 plus 1 that makes x equal to 5 over 3 3 as one of our solution. Here we have again three denominator, common denominator 4 minus 1 that means 3 over 3 x equal to which is equal to x equals to 1 another solution. Thus our solution set turns out to be a 5 over 3 comma 1 and that's our answer. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.